Um, this is going to be my first blog. I've always had a lot of ideas that I wanted to share. You know, I tried to write some posts on LinkedIn. Just didn't find it very efficient to write them. So I decided to just make videos and hopefully somebody might find them interesting. Um, today I kind of want to talk about um, just helping people, you know, doing charity work, volunteering, and or just having a career in, in serving others. <clears throat> I don't know when it has all started, but um, I have passion in, in serving others and, and wanting to make that a career to help you know, a large population of people. <clears throat> And as I try to find ways to do that, I've I've learned, um, I've learned a few things, you know. And one of the things that I've learned is that um, helping people is not an easy easy thing to do. It's actually a very complicated um, task. And initially, I thought that you know, oh, you know, you want to help someone, you just go out there and give them what they need. You know, for example, if you want to help the homeless, you can give them food and then warm clothings. But then, you know, are you really helping them, you know? I started to ask myself, you know, what is, well, what would be an efficient way to help people? <clears throat> and I guess I kind of realized that, um, yeah, at that moment you're helping them, you know, you're giving them what they need to survive. But at the same time, you, you're preventing them f from, um, from helping themselves, you know? You're constantly allowing them to rely on you, on limited amount of help that there is, you know? You can't help them forever. You can just always you can't always give them food and a place to stay. You know, it's not an efficient way to do it. An efficient way was to you know give them opportunity to to be able to make money or make a living. You know, so that they can they can has the so that they can have a sustainable life. You know, <clears throat> and I think that's the best way to help someone. And it, I mean, it's much harder than than. And just give them what they need. I mean, it's easier to just you know, get donations and just give them, and just pass them out. You know, just or just give them food. It's it's a lot easier to do that than trying to change the system, trying to find ways that they can they can really, really help themselves. You know. Yeah, I think that's what I really wanted to do, though. <clears throat> now, when I first graduated from college, I um, I wanted to be a. I want to go into medicine and be a doctor and be a surgeon. You know, I thought to myself, you know, that would be a really, really uh, rewarding career, you know, very meaningful job, you know. Don't get me wrong, though. I mean, those people are amazing. The, the things that they do <clears throat> to be able to dedicate um, such a huge part of your lives, serving others and saving lives, that is just very heroic and amazing, amazing things. But what I kind of don't agree on is the whole concept of trying to fix what has already occurred, you know. I think a lot of the surgeries that are being performed are um, not, they're preventable, you know. If the patients had a better lifestyles, better um, eating habits, make better choices in their lives, then they wouldn't need, they wouldn't have those, you know, heart diseases that requires um, surgeries and stuff like that, you know. <clears throat> so I guess right now I'm trying to think of ways to focus more on preventative medicine but um but yeah so i guess helping people is very complicated um one experience that i can share with you is um my trip to africa so a couple couple um weeks ago a couple actually not a couple weeks ago it's like a month ago um me and my coworker we went to africa um kenya rwanda and i learned a lot in rwanda because um we stayed at a at a place called Red Rocks, and the owner um, Harriet, she does a lot of um, a lot of volunteering work in helping the women, the local women, to be able to um, provide for themselves. <clears throat> she gives them um, ways to make money, you know, by making baskets, um, making um, banana beer that they can sell to tourists. And stuff like that, so that they can make money to fight for themselves. So instead of giving them, you know, giving them food and stuff, you know, this is a better way to do it. Which is amazing, you know. I I didn't, I learned a lot just from um, hearing about it. But then there's also issue. Um, there are also problems relating to that. You know, some of the women, you know, they would spend the money on unnecessarily thing, unnecessary things. You know, like clothings. 
and fancy clothing, you know, stuff like that that they don't need to survive, you know, instead of saving them in case just for later for better uses. So I mean, there, these are some of the things that we can we can do. I mean, we can only do so much to help them when it comes down to it. it is is themselves, you know, do they want do they want to what do they want, you know? Do they want to constantly rely on people or do they want to actually, you know, step up and and, and you know, um and actually help themselves. So, there are lots of things when it comes to helping people and I'm still searching for ways to make that a career and that's that's what I want to do because, you know, I believe personally I believe that, you know, if I can help, you know, so many people, then my life is meaningful, you know. It's just basic math, you know. It's one life being able to help so many others, you know. <clears throat> but it's not an easy thing, especially in in this world that we live in where um, making influential choices, making um, big choices like changing the system, changing the whole situation, you know, trying to, to eliminate the source of the problems, you need... You need power, you know, you need people to support you, you need, you need money to do that, you know. And that's some, one of the things that, I've, one of the things that I've learned, is that you can't do anything. You can, you can have all these ideas that you want to do to help people, you know, but you can't put it into reality unless you have the money, you have the support to do it. <clears throat> you know, for example, building a school, giving people education so that they can, they can improve their lives, you know, stuff like that. Those requires money. It requires, you know, donations and, and supports from other people. And it's a really complicated thing. Um, complicated thing to do. And and I just want to share that. Because I don't know if a lot of people... Um, I don't know if a lot of people think like I did. Who thought that, you know, just helping people would be would be an easy thing to do. Or, or that you're helping them by, by giving them what they need. So, yeah. I hope um, you find this video interesting. But I just wanted to share that with you. <clears throat>